add the fractions and simplify. So we're going to add 4 and 3 eighths plus 3 and 1 fourth. We need to be able to find the least common denominator. Look at our denominators, 8 and 4. The least common denominator would be 8. 4 goes into 8, uh, and 8 goes into 8 the least number of times. So we write this fraction here as 4, and its denominator is 8. It's already 8, so our numerator is the same. We bring over the 3. We write this denominator as 8. 4 goes into 8 two times, right? 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. And so now we add. We get 4 plus 3 is 7. 3 plus 2 is 5. All over the common denominator, which is 8. So again, we add these two numbers, right? This number here, that number, they're added. Why do we add? Because it says to add. If it was subtract, we'd be subtracting those two numbers, 3 minus 2. And then all over the common denominator. stays the same. All right? That's it right there. It stays the same. So our answer is there. Okay, the next one. We're going to multiply 217 times 21. 7 times 1 is 7. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Add a 0. 2 times 7 is 14. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. And then 2 times 2 is 4. Draw a line, and then we add 7, 5, 5, and 4. And it's okay to to check on a calculator. We're good. I don't know why I was doubting myself. I have those moments. Number three, we want to divide. We divide 54 into 45,522. All right. So let's say we check uh, 54 goes into 455 eight times. Eight times 54 is 432. Draw a line, subtract. When we do, we bring down 5 minus 3 is 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. Then we bring down this 2. Divide 54 into 232. That goes 4 times. 4 times 54 is 216. Draw a line, subtract. 232 minus 216 is 16. Bring down the 2 there. 54 goes into 162 3 times evenly. Okay. Well, let's look at the next one. So 
So we want to multiply 2.16 times 0 0.54. So we multiply as we normally would for uh, multiplying numbers, but we got to be very careful with the decimal. So 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 1 is, is 4 plus 2 is 6. 4 times 2 is 8. Bring down a 0. 5 times 6 is 30. So we have carrot 3. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 3 is 8. And then 5 times uh, the 2 is 10. Draw a line. We add 4, 6, 8 plus 8 is 16. Carry the 1, bring down the 1. And we're going to add the decimals. Over here, I have two decimal places. Over here, I have two decimal places. So the answer would be 2 plus 2. So the answer, you have to move the decimal four places. So what we do, we start here, we count 1, 2, 3, 4. So the decimal goes there, so that's 1.1664, that's the answer. So now we're going to subtract these two fractions, this is 3 and 2 thirds. minus one-fifth. So we're going to convert these fractions. I look at my denominator, 3 and 5. So the LCD, the least common denominator, will be 3 times 5. They have nothing in common, no factors in common. So the least common denominator is 15. Three here. And then just fraction there, our denominators become 15. I can only add or subtract fractions if they have the same denominator. We call that same denominator the least common denominator. So 3 goes into 15 5 times. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 goes into 15 3 times. <clears throat> 3 times uh, 1 is 3. So now we draw a line, then we subtract. So 3 from nothing is 3, right? And then I look at the 10 minus 3 is 7, all over the common denominator. 3 and 7, 15. That's the answer. So now we're going to reduce this fraction. This 20 over 36. You break the numbers down, you think about this as being 2 times 10. This is over. 36 is 6 times 6. I'm going to keep breaking that down. Try to break it down to what we call prime numbers, if you will. So this is 2. That 10 becomes 2 times 5. And the 6 is 2 times 3. And the other 6 is 2 times 3. So when I cancel, you can only cancel from top to bottom. If I have A times B all over B times C, then you can cancel out the B divided by B, and we have left A over C. So I use that rule. It's called the law of cancellation. So here, 2 cancels out with 2 there. 2 divided by 2 cancels out. So you have left, look at that, 5 all over 9. Add these two fractions. Well, look, notice 
that they have the same denominator. Woohoo! If you have the same denominator, then you can add the fractions or subtract if the sign is subtract. So here we add 1 plus 4 is 5 all over 6. That's the answer. So we add these two fractions. They have different denominators. So we have 3 over 4. Let's add it to 2 over 5. I have to find the least common denominator. You look at your denominators. Oops, sorry. <laughs> the denominators are 4 and 5. Well, the least common denominator would be 4 times the 5, 20. 4 and 5 go into 20 the least number of times. So 4 goes into 20 five times, right? That is 20 divided by 4 is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 goes into 20 four times. 4 times 2 is 8. So now we're going to add because it told us to add. So 15 plus 8 is 23. That's all over the common denominator of 20. Or you can reduce that to 1 and 3 over 20. How did I get that? Just divide 20 into 23. It goes 1 times. That's a funny looking 3. Good for people who write like me. 20 times 1 is 20. 23 to minus 20 is 3. Turn this dial 1 time. So this becomes 1. 1 goes down. The 3 goes up. And the 20 goes down. Right? So you can write your answer as an, a reduced improper fraction, which is what this is, or a mixed number, which is what that is. And I think I have both answers together. Okay, so here we have to divide, but they're mixed numbers. So we convert the mixed numbers to improper fractions. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5 over 2. That's divided by 1 times 4 is 4, plus 3 is 7, all over 4. So now, in order to, to work this out, we must convert the division to multiplication. So we keep the first fraction. We change the sign from division to multiplication and then flip the second fraction, 4 over 7. Just multiply top times top divided by the bottom times the bottom. You can simplify that if you want to. I do. So I say that 2 goes in. Notice that 2 and 4 have common uh, multiples. So 2 goes into 2 one time and then 2 goes into 4 two times. So I have left 5 times 2 is 10 all over 1 times 7 is 7. You can write that or because it is improper but it's reduced improper or you can write that as 1 and 3 sevenths. We we'll take either or for our answer. Next you have 7 over 4. This is divided by so that becomes multiplication flip the second fraction, right? So 4 and 8 have something in common. 4 goes into 4 one time, 4 goes into 8 two times. Just have left 7 times 2 is 14 over uh, 1. The answer is just 14. Multiply here. This is 14 times 9 divided by 27 uh, times 28. So you're multiplying these numbers, right? Multiplying these numbers and the result you divide. Now, if you want, since we have something divided by something else, we can use the law of cancellation. A times B again over B times C. If I see common terms from the numerator and denominator, you can cancel or reduce. Or reduce, right? So notice that 14 goes into 14 one time. 14 goes into 28 two times. 9 and 27 have something in common. 9 goes into 9 one time. 
9 goes into 27 three times. So we have left, 1 times 1 up top is 1, divided by 3 times 2 is 6. Okay. Add these two decimals, 21.06 plus 0 0.18. From top to bottom, up down, line the decimal up. That's the key. And then just add as normal. 6 plus 8 is 14. Bring the decimal down. Bring the noise. Right. So the answer is 21.24.